This past weekend, I was at Shipshawana on the road in Valparaiso, Indiana, and it was, without a doubt, the best show I have ever done. And I'm not even just talking about the sales or the profits. Um, I was very happy with those numbers, but what really made this such a great experience was the people that showed up. Um, I'm just, I'm still kind of trying to process and wrap my head around everything that happened. Um, usually when I do shows, my assistant and I are introducing people to the book series for the first time. So we've kind of got our elevator pitch down. We're explaining about the genre and what the series is about. Um, but this show was different and this show is what I have been waiting for since I first published the book in 2018. Um, I had repeat customers, a lot of repeat customers who they have already read books one and two and they were here for the third book. So it wasn't a matter of me explaining what the series is about. It's people who have fallen in love with the series and read them already and absorbed every word and they're asking me questions, they're talking about their favorite characters, and this is, like I said, this is what I've been waiting for to hit this point in my author career um, where I've got a fan base. And I, I had um, locals who came and even if they didn't know about the series yet, they found out I was a local author and they walked away with all three hardcover books because they wanted to support me and they were interested in my work. And I had people, I had a, a couple of girls come and they already had the third book, um, but I did sign it for them. And they said, we've got some questions for you. And then they pulled out a sheet of paper <laughs> that was filled with questions they had written down. And a lot of it was word pronunciations. Um, but they had fan theories about book four. They correctly guessed, I might add, which character is going to be on the cover of book four. Uh, so they were a lot of fun to talk with. And I had people putting money in the tip jar, feeding the dragons, Clover and Thistle. I had a, a guy who purchased a copy of the book and then handed me a $10 bill and said, my assistant and I could go get something to eat or drink with it. Um, I had, I think this is one of the most memorable things that has ever happened to me. Um, a gal came and I had met her last fall at a festival and she had read the first book. She was almost done with the second book and she was there for book three. And she thanked me. Um, for writing a book series that she was really into, that she used to be an avid reader and she hadn't been able to finish a book because, I mean, you know, life gets in the way. There's just not time to read anymore like there used to be. And A Fallen Hero was the first book she had finished in seven years. So that right there was just an amazing compliment for me. Um, you know, I'm I'm over here saying no. Thank you for purchasing my books and supporting me as an author. And it, it's so it's such a weird feeling to have that turned around and have somebody thanking me for writing the story that was in my head and in my heart that I had to get out. Um, so she, we talked for a while and she left and then she came back and she held out her fists to my assistant and me and we opened our hands and she had gotten us little figurines and I my jaw just dropped when she handed me this beautiful little carved cat that she got from another vendor um, so this is I told her this is going to be my good luck charm I'm going to keep it with me and take it to events um, but just those are the kinds of people who showed up to this event and it was it was so much positivity and it's it's seriously such a new and weird and wonderful feeling to know that my book series is someone's favorite book series and that I am their favorite author and I get to meet them and hear from them and it's just this weekend was just 
so much positivity and support that I, like I said, I'm still processing everything. And it's just, it's a really good start to the event season this year. And I hope that other local events are gonna be like this where I can reconnect with fans in addition to meeting new fans and introducing them to the series. But just, just wow. Um, I am very touched, I'm very blown away, I am kind of in shock, <laughs> and I am excited to see where the next phase of this journey takes me because, oh, like I said, I've, I've been anticipating hitting this part of the author journey where I have a fan base. I have people who are familiar with the series and have questions and want to talk about their favorite characters and their favorite scenes and what they think is going to happen next. And it was just, it was absolutely incredible. And I feel very humbled and grateful. And I just want to thank everybody who has supported me. And let's see where 2023 takes me now that book three is out and we're going full swing.